In this video, I'm going to talk about cases within Dynamics 365 customer service app. So what is a case? So case is uh, a basically a fundamental core entity within a customer service. So case represents a situation or an incident reported by say customer or on behalf of customer, which requires a specific resolution. So it is, I'd say, uh, in some terms, it's called as an incident or, in, or some people may call it as a support request. OK, uh, so the terminology which is used in Dynamics 365 customer service is called as a case. So case has its own business process or a life cycle through which the case uh, navigates through its own uh, uh, method. Uh, now, within this particular business process, case undergoes various action. OK. Now the case uh, can capture information about customers. So basically an important information about customers, interaction between the customers and all related records. It tracks individual customer service issues across the channels and agents over a specific amount of time. Okay, till the time the case is active. Now, what are the different case types and action? Now the case types, what are the, what, what are the different types of cases you can see? Now case, uh, one is like, I'd say it's a normal case. Okay. It's just a case. Then we can have a parent case. We can have a child case. You can have a duplicate case. You can have a similar case. You can have a recent case. Okay. Uh, and various actions which we can perform against cases. One is creation of a case. So how do we create a case? Uh, we can do that using the customer service application. You can create using a portal or an external portal or a Power Apps or Power Pages portal. Uh, you can create through an email. You can create through various channels. Now, it all depends on how you have configured your system. You can resolve the case. You can cancel the case. Uh, you can route a case. You can add a case to a queue. You can merge cases, convert case to knowledge article, convert case to work order, and you can reactivate the case. So these are the various actions which you're going to perform against a case in the Dynamics 365 customer service application. Now, all these cases which I have mentioned over here uh, has a different use cases, okay? Now, why people might use parent and child cases basically to structure the case around some hierarchy, okay? It can be around product category. It can be around a uh, product uh, uh, skew. It can be around product specifications. Okay. Now, when we have duplicate cases, is when if if uh, a case request has been raised by a customer, and that customer has uh, raised a request, and at the same time, similar like a different person within from the same organization has also raised that case. Okay, uh, within his fraction of minute or seconds or hours okay so then we can mark that case as duplicate now similar cases it need not be like a same case as what was raised within the system but this case can be <coughs> uh, like uh, might have been raised in the past okay so those cases are called as similar cases recent cases are like any case which has been raised in the last couple of uh, days okay so that's that them also recent cases so let's let's jump into the application and see how this case management looks like okay so i'm in the customer service hub and on, on the left hand side if i go to services and cases i will be able to see all the cases with it listed within my organization okay now how to raise a case there's a button click on new case and then start typing the case details now the case i can say surface mouse not working okay so this is the case title which i'm going to put and then i need to put the customer name now which customer does it belongs to okay now these customers are basically an account record and if i have already predefined filled uh, i can be i'll be able to select this customer record now these are the only two important things which we need to put in the case okay now let me save this case record and this case record will get saved within the application now, what are the other different parameters which we can put in while creating a case? Now, there is a subject. If we want to categorize the, uh, uh, the cases within a category, I can select a subject. I don't have anything, so I'll select default subject. You need to select from where this e uh, 
case is coming so someone has called us or if someone has emailed us okay so we can select accordingly the origin of the case uh, if it is specific to a product put that uh, if it has, has some entitlement which is again a topic with regards to some privileges for your customer service slas uh, management or a contract management uh, you can put the description like you need to be more precise in putting the description so that the customer service agent will be able to help you precisely and on the right hand side you will see recent cases now these are the cases which have been raised in the last couple of days and that's why you know like i was i'm able to see over here okay uh, that there will be some timeline like against this case what all actions has been done so far those will be displayed in the timeline here if you see the section this first section is the recent cases second is knowledge and third is uh, similar cases now if i want to see any similar cases i need to click here and then it, this will list down the similar cases now uh, if you see it says that it is related to surface and quite possible these are some similar cases okay so it has extracted the keyword surface and then tried to put a similar cases uh, request and i can select and i can see some information what has happened in that case in the past and try to resolve this issue now if that doesn't help i can go into the knowledge article and try to search for some information if i try something related to surface some information will get popped up and if i uh, select some knowledge articles then i will be able to see uh, the the content of that knowledge article and then if it helps me in resolving the issue okay now if it doesn't uh, then i can see if that is related to the recent cases okay now that's about cases let's go into the detail part of the cases now here i can check if this is somewhat related to the parent case okay now look for parent cases now i can point this to say any of the previous records and say hey this is something related to this parent case and i can attach this as the parent case now this becomes a child case and the parent case is the surface case okay whether it is escalated uh, when was the first response sent so all these things can be configured over here if you go into the, uh, i'll just save this for a moment if you move on to case relationship you can see whether this case is merged case child case or associated knowledge records now here uh, as you saw in the summary uh, if i select any knowledge record and if i uh, think that you know like okay the surface related article is somewhat related to this particular case i can go into this knowledge article and then i can link this article to the current record and then you will receive every receive a message that is linked to a case now okay going into case relationship you will see that the knowledge article which we have attached is displayed over here okay now this is a, itself a child case so this will not have any child cases uh, specifically listed over here uh, merged cases okay uh, now here you will not see anything but on the top you will see various action which you can do you can convert this case to work order you can resolve the case you can cancel the case okay and you can do various action you can delete the case as well from here okay now let's do one thing let's uh, try canceling this case now once i cancel this case it will give me an option what should i do set case state to cancelled okay or merged okay now i can do either cancel or a merge now why one will do cancel cancel is because this case no longer exists or it doesn't make sense or it has been created uh, in a multiple different ways so that's why we have to cancel it that can be one of the reason merge means this case is somewhat looks to me a duplicate case and then i would like to merge this to an another case okay so let me cancel this for a moment and then i can confirm and then this case will be cancelled okay the moment i do that this case will be uh, moved into an like say deactivated state as you see now you cannot edit this record okay and this case life cycle is completed now if i go into other case uh, say reset m365 password so this is also one of the case now i can resolve the case as well now if i resolve the case it will tell me that you have one open activity confirming will result in cancelling the open activity are you okay with it i'll just say okay and then i can put the resolution type as problem solved or information provided and information is shared 
JP article. Okay, so this is what I have done. I'll just resolve the case and that's it. It's it's completed. So that's uh, that's how you close the case. Okay, and at the same time you can add a case to a queue as well. Okay, so if you go into any of the case, uh, you can uh, put this uh, case into the queue. Okay, now you need to have the queue defined beforehand. Uh, now by that by default there's a default queue you can put that in the queue now i have already assigned it to queue agent officers queue and that's why it's uh, showing me this but you can select any other queue within your system as well okay so this is how you put this application in a, uh, put this case in a queue so that's it folks this is all about cases cases type and case action um, i'll see you in my next video thank you